After four and a half years at Meta, Rahul Pandey's total compensation doubled from $400,000 to $800,000 per year. Today, me and my buddy Shashank, a Microsoft software engineer, react to Rahul's journey because let's be honest, I'd do anything for that kind of money. Let's learn from his secrets. In this video, I'm breaking down my compensation and how it changed each year. I joined Facebook, now known as Meta, in 2017 with a total comp of 400K. And over the- Okay. 2017, okay. Okay, first all of right. all, 2017. He's out of college? No, there's no, dude, there's no way he's making 400K out of college. Okay, well, okay, so he joined 2017. Can you imagine $400,000 right out of college? There's no way he was a, he might tell us, maybe it's from Microsoft. Over the next else. four and a half years, my yearly compensation more than doubled. Look up from his December LinkedIn. Okay, he was at Pinterest for almost three Whoa, years. What? Okay, so he interned at Facebook, 2013. He interned at Facebook in 2013. Founding engineer. He started his own company that got acquired by Pinterest right out of college. He worked at Pinterest for two years. Three years. He went from being a software engineer at Pinterest in 2017. 2017 to 2020, he was, I think he was just doing this full time, it sounds like. But he, so it's 400K after three years of being at Pinterest, which I guess is at, at at that time with those salaries is reasonable, right? Three years out of college? Yeah. 400K per year? I mean, this person's right. You can get 400K in quant shops pretty soon out of college. This is true, but this isn't quant. Um, and quant, they work probably 2x the amount of hours that you work. 2021, showing my growth income okay, for that whoa, year. Whoa, 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 okay. December 2021, this is his most, this is before he left, I think, when he made the most. And so the breakdown here was he got a performance bonus of 60K, restricted stock, dude, 600 grand in stock. Also, like, these numbers back then, like, it is almost impossible to get numbers like these today. Like, this person was incredibly competent. Rahul was incredibly, like, a very, very good engineer. Yeah. Clearly. Of $823,000. This dude, is my data point almost of a big million. tech compensation as a staff engineer. And my goal is not to flex some big dollar figure. I genuinely want this video to be helpful for you. I did well at Facebook, but I'm not some genius level programmer. I came in as a senior engineer, E5, and I got okay. promoted one. Okay, so actually I misspoke then. It was an E4. When he came from Pinterest, he was E5. Three or four years out of college, he was a senior engineer at Meta, which is very hard to do. To be fair, started his own company, graduated yep. from Stanford, working at Pinterest, like probably at a high role because he got acquired from, he was probably like close to senior level at Pinterest because his startup was acquired. So they can't down level him to like a sweet one. Sure. This video has three parts. First, I'll share and my initial E6, offer and how employees staff. at Meta are evaluated. Second, I'll share the result of all eight performance reviews I received and how that translated to compensation changes. And finally, I'll share some analysis and three takeaways for you. As far as I know, this is one of the first and only in-depth compensation breakdowns from a fan company on YouTube. So let's dive in. In 2017, I decided to leave my job at Pinterest and I applied in earnest to a bunch of open software engineering roles. I ended up getting six offers and that gave me a lot of leverage to negotiate a strong offer. So my package from Facebook was $170,000 in base salary, 15% annual target bonus, $600,000 of four years. equity, RSUs, vesting over four years, and a $45,000 signing bonus. Imagine I won't cover the terminology 600K. here, but if you Does want Meta to understand still give things like, like RSU. 600K over four years. Maybe not six, maybe like 500, 550, but it's close. It's close. Meta still pays top dollar for top. So you could get 170 base and six and 550 over four years yeah for a senior level role that sounds reasonable actually yes press use and bonuses in more detail i'll leave a link for a helpful video about that somewhere in the description down below the offer i got translated to three hundred ninety thousand of tc in year one and comparing that to other senior engineers this was on the higher side especially in the equity component of my package the target annual bonus depended on employee performance Every six months, every employee at Facebook received a rating about how they were doing relative to expectations. If you meet all expectations, you would get the target bonus. In my case, that was $25,000 roughly each year. If you exceeded expectations, that bonus could be quite a bit higher. It could be 25% more or even double. There's a bit more detail here that we don't have time to get into, but if you want the full details, then check out the meta guide on promotions.fyi. Okay, with all the background out of the way, let's start talking about how my compensation changes over time. In August, 2017, I joined a new secretive division of Facebook called Building 8. I was really excited for the oh, role. You but, remember the portal? See pictures of your family and like FaceTime your grandma and stuff. It's like one of the first hardware devices Facebook built. Oh, cool. I also felt a lot of imposter syndrome coming in as a senior engineer. There were a lot of expectations and it took me some time beast. to adapt to the Facebook way of doing things, the Facebook culture. Honestly, the first few months on the job were really difficult for me. I worked on one of the first hardware products that Facebook created. First so there's a lot of chaos with both projects and people changing around. 
I'm, I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but I think one thing to remember is when you're working on something that is secretive and new, it could go horribly. But if that thing does well and it makes money and it starts making headlines, I'm not saying it doesn't matter how hard you worked or what you did, but your whole team is going to be OK. Like, you're good. Yeah, you're going to go up. And actually, I don't think Portal was that successful. So maybe even more impressive that he was able to rise the ranks and get so much compensation. Meta is still all in on their hardware devices, right? That's, that's their most that's their largest investment. And I'm sure even from then, yeah, it was a very large investment. And I think that. when you're working on something like that, you have a lot of visibility where le leadership is talking about you. Mm -hmm. Like maybe your manager is directly reporting to the CEO or CTO. Like you have like a direct line to stuff and people know your name, what you're working on. Because there's not that many people, right? So maybe people at the company knew who Rahul Pandey was, and that could have helped. Within three months of me joining, my manager actually asked me if I'd be comfortable moving to work on the core calling functionality of the device instead of what I was working on with some voice assistant stuff. And this already added to the stress I was feeling now having to deal with a brand new team. But there's really only one right answer when your manager asks you to do something, which is to say yes. Even like recently, just speaking from my personal experience, I had a couple options on what I wanted to work on next. And I advocated for something that I felt was maybe less impact, but would give me more personal growth and would go in a direction that uh, I wanted to. Yeah. So I was like, and I was able to work with my manager to do that. I mean, but I think uh, a good manager and uh, if you're advocating for yourself, you'll be able to find a place and a path to work. I guess that goes back to like having that rapport, trusting your manager. So yeah. we're not playing games with words. Like when he says, no, honestly, do you want to do this? And you're like, no, he's not gonna be like, wrong answer. You'd be like, okay, no worries. Let me find something else, right? Yeah. I was putting in lots of time after work, trying to learn the code base, but it took me oh, once. But that's putting a lot of time outside of work to learn the code base, keep going on top of that added stress. And so the stuff still takes work. Like even if you're working on the hardware yeah. device, have visibility, like you got to put in the hours. I think whenever you get moved to a new team, it's the most stressful because everyone else, like when he was saying the imposter syndrome, Everyone else knows what's going on except you. Yeah. You're looking at this code and you're like, I have no idea what's going on. What do these functions mean? Yeah. Why is it written like this? This is like the worst thing in the world. Right. And then you have to keep asking questions and it starts making sense. It's like, oh, that's why it's like this. Oh, that's what it does. You know, once you learn that code base, it'll just be like, you're like a wizard. And then people will start asking you for questions. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Now I'm the people, <laughs> I'm the person people are asking. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> before I actually started to utilize the people around me and learning from them. This first half is when I struggled the most and I barely squeaked by at the end of the half with the MA meets all expectation rating. This led to a small compensation increase really, in wait, early 2018. He really had it to work work that hard to just get a meets all expectations. From at least what I've understood with Meta, I think it is hard. Their minimum expectations, I think, are just higher than most companies. And in most companies, you can be like a good talker and like have good visibility and like do all the non-technical things. At Meta, they just pull up your reports and like, how much code did you write? How much code did you review? My salary went up almost 2%. I received $8,000 bonus Is that like inflation? and I received 253 additional Facebook stocks, which turned out to be about $11,000 in additional value for each of the next four years. My second half in the company was the start of 2018, and I was finally able to ship something meaningful, which resulted in me getting an exceed expectation rating. These summer performance cycles like only had a bonus payout. He's simplifying there was no it. There's no way you just ship something of significance and you just automatically exceed expectations, right? You must have worked harder, you think, or was the project itself enough? I think like when something that I've always heard, I'm sure you've heard, it's like impact and visibility, right? Yeah. So once you ship a product, you have, you can just put on your report, yeah, this thing now, like all of these customers are using it. That's fair. And then you can be like, great, exceed expectations. <laughs> No salary adjustment and no equity refresh. And so I got a 14.5K bonus. While I personally started to find my footing in the company, this was also the time when Facebook was rocked with Cambridge Analytica. And so oh, you the company that? made the decision actually to reduce everyone's bonus by 10%. Okay, uh, now we're headed into year two and I'm feeling more confident about my technical ability and the work that needs to happen. I not only had the technical knowledge, but I had enough context about what was going on, who were the people involved that I could- All right, let's quickly look at this food right there. Got a lot of options, got some soup. Oh, I'm so hungry. Rahul, we see you eating good, man. You look bigger now, so good job. Get the gains make things happen. I could lead projects effectively. And that's a really core skill for a senior or staff level engineer. This led to my first rating of greatly exceeds expectations. Great, the dude, product I that's insane. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say he portal. did to get that? He like got his footing and then I think he started, people trusted him to lead projects. Things happen. Okay. I could lead projects. I think, okay. And that's a really it. core skill dude. for a senior or staff level engineer. This led to my first rating of greatly exceeds expectation. The that's really hard to yeah. get, I think. Yeah, I agree. There's only one level above this, which is like redefine something, right? The next half also went pretty well, and I got a $19,000 bonus payout the man along with bonuses an every half. expectation rating. Along with the previous stock grant, this brought my total compensation in 2019 
almost to 500,000. So I recovered from my year one debt. At this point, I'm starting to think about promotion. I've had three halves of strong performance and I'm working on projects with tons of scope. The next half, H2 2019, was my most productive period at Facebook. I built the initial version of an internal tool which gained adoption throughout the org and it led to significant time savings for many engineers. Not only did this result in my second- Yo, tip, you see how I put that on the screen? 5,000 plus engineering hours saved. He didn't tell us what the tool was. He didn't tell us what it did but it's enough for me to be like, damn, 5,000 plus engineering hours over an entire org, like give that man a promotion. This, and this is what you tell, put on your performance reviews. You don't, nothing else, but technical details, whatever matters. Yeah. If you saved a bunch of engineering hours, huge. Brought a bunch of value to the customer, huge. Yeah, This RSU Legends. grant of 1,836 RSUs valued at $400,000 over the next four years. In a leadership position, thought you're so good that they were like, this guy might leave, let's just give him more money. To keep him. 100k extra per year. And also my base salary crossed 200k for the first time. So this half was really the reason why in 2021, I was actually able to cross into the 800k territory. If you want to hear the background and deep dive of the internal tool that led to my promotion, oh, that's cool. I did a yeah, free cool. breakdown of it on Taro. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Unfortunately, even after my best half ever, I still didn't get promoted. My manager said I was operating at E6 as a staff engineer, but they wanted to see more sustained performance at that level. That's as we all BS, know, however, man. 2020 was the year of COVID. You could go, I mean, maybe it's hard to just go to Meta in one year and just do insane things, but let's say you do, I think they'll still be like, eh, no, let's like see you do a little bit more yeah. you know and that's that's promotions BS. during that period this probably did result in tens of thousands of dollars in lost compensation but i was just grateful to have a stable job in a world of turmoil i distinctly remember an announcement from zuck to the whole company in that period where he said zuck. that not only would you be receiving your bonus but he would be giving everyone a 25 percent premium on top of their normal bonus and Damn. on top of that zuck literally just gave every employee two thousand dollars just to kind of handle the stresses of the pandemic. When things came back to normal a bit at the end How of 2020, I finally did land that promotion to staff engineer. This led to my largest increase in base salary, up 14% to $231,000 per year, and another sizable equity refresh of 937 shares valued at $250,000 these over four years. Bro. This is where you really start to see the power of equity. At this point, I had been at the company for three years, and so, on top of my three initial years, grant, I also had three more double. equity grants that were stacking on top of the initial grant. The vast majority of my total compensation at this point came from equity. For my last year at Facebook, I transitioned into a manager role and I switched teams to work in dev infra. The combination of a new role along with the new expectations of being a manager resulted in me getting a meets all expectation, which is a rating I got the very first half that I okay, joined. Okay, well, it's his first time As 2021 wrapped sense. up, I started to think about the next step of my career and I left Facebook in January 2022 to start Taro. So here is a full graph of how my compensation changed throughout my time at the company, including crossing over 800K in that last year. The increase in TC is a result of higher salary, bonuses, and equity now. Dude, how didn't sell those RSUs? And then how do you leave $800,000 per year guaranteed income? How do you leave that? Each year. $800,000 is a pretty big number, but what's more it's important is what you do with number. the situation. And that's what we'll talk you know about Takeaway number one is that you need bro. continuity to get to very senior levels like a staff engineer. I was part of the same team at Meta for three years. This is what I was trying to tell general, you, um, where I think early in your career, jumping around can give you bumps, but then to truly get that equity, get the stability, yep. get that kind of growth, you need to be there. For I think you. once you hit senior, you really need to stay for a while to make impact. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to be a genius in order to grow your career. Well, that's I true, because I'm not a genius. I was and, you overwhelmed know, with the code base. It was my first time dealing with hardware, and I dealt with a reorg within three months. And the second thing I did is I developed an awareness of how the system worked. I figured out what does performance review entail and how can I make sure that I have undeniable impact on my team and on the product I'm working on. Neither of these required me to be some mega genius 200 IQ person. It just requires a willingness to learn and some curiosity. IQ. Rahul, thanks man, appreciate it. Now, the best way to level up in your software engineer career doesn't require thousands of dollars or take years and years of schooling. It's actually free and easy through Brilliant, where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that allow you to play around with the content. Plus, all the content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Caltech, Duke, Microsoft, Google, and so many more. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days for free, visit brilliant.org slash Naman Kapoor or click my special link in the description. You'll also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.